It's true that in the initial clinical trials that were done, we looked at young women aged 16 to 26, and that was because in these initial clinical trials, we needed to do pap tests on this group of women. And the reason we were doing the pap tests was so that we could monitor to see whether or not there were going to be any abnormalities that developed, if there were going to be any differences between the group that got the vaccine and the group that got the placebo. And of course, what we found was that the group that got the vaccine were highly prevented from developing any of these pap test abnormalities. But it wouldn't have been appropriate, of course, to have been doing clinical trials that involved doing pap tests on young girls under the age of 16. However, we did do studies on girls under the age of 16, on these young girls aged 12, around about 12 to 13. And these studies were to look at what sort of immune response we got when they were given the vaccine. And what we actually found was that they, in fact, got a much better immune response than when we gave it to the older teenagers and young women in their 20s. This immune response was actually a higher um, what we call an antibody response in giving the vaccine. And this is one of the other reasons why we think it's such a good idea to give this vaccine at the relatively young age of 12 to 13.